Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. We thought we would sit and have our coffee time, which we usually do on Saturdays. That's right. But have it this morning, especially since we have bacon. Yeah, somewhere under there. Yep. Bacon. So we're sitting here. I'm gonna eat she some. just took my bacon. <laughs> Was that your piece? Yep. But that's okay. It's really you enjoy good. it. It's all good. How's everybody this morning? I know we're doing good. It's a nice relaxing Thursday. And uh, I guess what was really funny about yesterday is I put the trash cans out <laughs> to have them dumped today. And then Krista's like, they're not going to dump them on Thanksgiving. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you're right. So I hauled them back up next to the house and I'll put them out tonight. Yeah. But that was funny. That's okay. It's a holiday today, by oh, the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But happy Thanksgiving, everyone. How are you yep. guys doing? Are you just waking up? Although by the time we download this, you'll probably eat Thanksgiving. Yeah, enjoy, <laughs> your, enjoy your turkey. <laughs> but uh, I've got to uh, prep and uh, start cooking my turkey and get it in the oven so it's ready. We're mm -hmm. going to eat at 3 o'clock. What time do you guys eat uh, your Thanksgiving dinner? Um, some people eat it early. And my dad usually likes to do it around 2. Um, I pushed it to three. <laughs> but it's random, we know. It's Everybody just so has I don't have their, to wake up so Everybody has their di turkey dinner for Thanksgiving at different times. It'd yeah. be interesting to know what everybody else is is yeah. what time. And we're sitting here watching while we're getting ready, uh, the Macy's Day parade, and that's kind of a neat thing because we took it for granted all these years that um, the Macy's Day Parade was always here. And it's been here since I was a kid, yep. and before that. And um, and then last year, no Macy's Day Parade. And no, um, at, at uh, New Year's, the Rose Parade. No, no yep. Rose Parade. So I missed them both. I kind of teared up when they counted it down and said three two one and here we go here we go and they started marching i actually teared up because <laughs> it was something that you look forward to every year yeah it's something you grew up with within your childhood and then yeah. you didn't get to see it last year and it was like i wouldn't say devastation it but it was a weird a bummer. year it was a weird year mm -hmm. and this year we're actually sitting here and i'm all morning been looking back at last year mm -hmm. and so grateful that we made it through last year um, right. our son actually had COVID during Thanksgiving so we did not have a Thanksgiving um, dinner last year yeah we um, kind of made some chicken or something and we brought him mashed potatoes gravy the whole works and we yep. set it on his doorstep yep. and um, <clears throat> and my parents even had to have I think they had TV dinners, which is sad <laughs> last year. Yeah, it was year. quite the interesting year last year. So I'm so thankful that mm -hmm. this year is way better. Yeah. Way better. It's going to be a good Thanksgiving. We have a lot to be thankful for. I'm just hoping that my mom can come up with my stepdad next year. Yeah, And get I up hope here so. so they can be here for next year's Thanksgiving. That's, that's, the, the, that's the hope anyway. That's the biggest bummer of today is that we really thought that they would be here sitting here at the table with us. Yeah. And um, just wasn't time yet. you know. But next year in Idaho, yep. next year in Idaho, yep. we're having Thanksgiving with your mom and pop. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be nice. That would be wonderful. So, but I mean, it's interesting to look back at your year and think all of the things you can be thankful for. You know, like I said, last year our son had COVID. We didn't even have a Thanksgiving meal. We delivered this little, you know, kind of makeshift meal to our son who was even too sick to eat. Yeah. And a couple of days later, his, his neighbors actually passed away from COVID. So yeah, it was a really- was, That was a sad deal. It was a really, really hard year, especially since he always took care of them and brought them Thanksgiving dinner and all that kind of stuff. But then, you know, um, we were also facing last year um, the closing of my shop. We had announced it the week before Thanksgiving that I was going to retire and the countdown began and we thought, well, we're going to, you were building my the studio. studio. Yep. And um, 
and you were just not at the beginning stages but you were kind of at the beginning you still had a lot of work to do on it it was a lot of work yeah and um so just thinking about Turned all those things though. you know i like to when you're in a holiday go oh wow you know last year this was our reality and now it we're in a totally different place we you know have had just a really good year a busy year but a really good year well, i got i got all the projects done mm -hmm. for the most part and I got my health back, mm -hmm. you know, and um, I just, I feel so much better now. Um, I've gained all my weight back, pretty much, and, uh, you know, I'm ready to get back to work. I'm going to mm -hmm. take the rest of November off, maybe December, and then um, uh, we got all of uh, Krista's dresses uh, that she had in storage uh, from her mm -hmm. bridal store. Uh, posted on eBay, so that's good. And if we can sell those, then we'll be that much better yeah. off. Well, we've so just started that good. process. Yeah, we we got quite a few on. Got to start somewhere. But we, got, but we have a lot more to go. Yep. So we have a lot of work ahead of us. But it's been really good. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I was fighting to keep the weight on, and now I got the weight back on. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, and uh, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Um, yeah, you know that. And everybody's pretty much healthy. That's another thing. Last year, at this exact time, you were very, very sick, mm -hmm. and we didn't know why. And right in a couple weeks, you know, um, we would go and have tests done and find out right before Christmas what it was. But at this point, we were weren't even sure if it was cancer. Right, right. Because of all of my family members that keep dying of cancer, you just that's the first thing you go to because that's what's been happening. Yeah. You know, so. So yeah. we are so blessed that it was something mm -hmm. fixable. Um, For sure. And something not easy. I mean, not easy. It's not easy. <laughs> it's not you guys easy. try going without gluten. It's, it's, you don't get any biscuits. You don't get any cookies. You don't, I mean, you got some cookies, but that's not the same. Yeah. We, I love gluten. <laughs> it's brutal, man. Let's talk about my... Um, my wonderful cookies I made last night that were gluten free. Pretty sure you want to talk about those cookies? We we should probably just forget about those. So cookies. she oh this is a good one though. <laughs> so she makes gluten free what are they? Uh, gin, not shortbread. Gin, shortbread cookies and she put a whole extra thing of butter in. Whoops. So when she cooked them, <laughs> <laughs> I went to pick one up and it just disintegrated. It was just like it was like powder. <laughs> And I'm like, how am I supposed to pick that up? And how am I supposed to eat it? So I finally got a little bit of a corner, and it just was like powder. And it was dry. It tasted horrible. I'm like, something's wrong. So then she looked back at what she did as far as the recipe goes, and then she yeah. figured out she just put one too many things of butter. So then she made a new packet of the Epicure, <laughs> Epicure shortbread that I get from my cousin in Indiana. That's part of the Epicure thing, which really is awesome because it's yeah. all gluten free. It wasn't the cookie's fault. And she uh, <laughs> she made one this time with one thing of butter, stick of butter, and it oh man, I it turned out really good. I shouldn't multitask, and I shouldn't assume I know mm -hmm. what I'm doing <laughs> because I was like, oh half a cup, I just did this. Okay, blah blah blah. You know, I was trying to do Jello at the same time, tried to do our noodle pudding at the same time. And I was like, I got this. <laughs> I didn't have it. No. The second time you did. Mm-hmm. But it was good, though. Mm-hmm. You know, that second batch, now we got a bunch in a Tupperware container that I can peg out on today. Yep. So and they're not good. too bad, so. No, nope, they're good. Really good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So thank God you are gluten intolerant in an age when there's a lot of options. Yeah, yeah, I know years ago that there wasn't hardly any options for anybody that uh, was gluten intolerant mm -hmm. or celiacs or whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, yeah so it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm ready to chow down on some mashed potatoes and gravy and green beans and some turkey. And mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's going to be gonna a be good, good day. So, really good. so hopefully, you guys have a really good Thanksgiving. When. Um, when something wasn't, when you didn't have it the year before, and now you're going to have it, yeah, it's so much sweeter. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's better. And so we've actually, we're in our front room. We've set up some portable tables 
Um, yeah. Because Krista's parents and our son yeah. are coming over. We or do. One of our sons. We've told you before. We live in a small house. There's not enough mm -hmm. room for us around our normal table. <laughs> it's okay. But that's why we have these uh, portable tables, and we can just set them up in the front room, and voila. Now we got a giant table for everybody to sit at, so mm -hmm. it's good. So, when we look back at this video next year, what are your hopes for the year coming up? <laughs> what do well, you <laughs> hope? Hope that my mom's up here. That's the first thing. Yeah. My mom and my stepdad. Um, hopefully, they can get up here and then find a house to buy and. Mm -hmm in 2022 and that we get to have them for Thanksgiving here, you know, so mm -hmm. that we, they can visit with us too. Um, yeah. I really, I'm really excited for that. And I'm hoping that they get a handle on the whole COVID thing in 2022, that they learn a lot more new things mm -hmm. about it and ways to deal with it, to shut it down. So no matter what variant we end up with that people can just, mm -hmm. you know, I know it'll never be like the old normal, but it'd be nice to see a little bit of the old normal. Yeah. You know, I know it's not going to all ever be probably how it was. I mean, it could be, but it would just be nice in 2022 to have things mm -hmm. go more back to, you know, I'd like to see a lot less racism. Oh, yeah. Against um, African Americans. I'd like to see a lot less racism against Asian people, mm -hmm. you know. Um, Hispanics. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It breaks Hispanic my people. heart. It's just ridiculous, you know. If they would just put them the the Caucasian people that are very racist, if mm -hmm. they would put themselves in their shoes mm -hmm. and just think about it for a minute, how they feel, mm -hmm. they wouldn't act the way they do towards other races, and it's just it's just sad. Yeah. But in 2022, it'd be nice to see a curb or a a uh, a change, yeah. As far as racism goes, because it's just with everything, especially in the news, you know, from what pops up on Facebook, because you can't even really even get away from seeing a little bit of things pop up. But mm -hmm. you know, the the things that have been happening lately, um, the two different instances, you know, the one guy that gets off scot free, and the other three. Uh, were the three guys were found guilty. It's just like two different situations, still kind of a little bit similar because it was, you know, I, I and I don't want to get into all that, but. Mm -hmm. And luckily I, I, know, I know nothing of what you're talking about. That's awesome, I, that's the way to be. I live in you a stay bubble. stay in your bubble. You stay in a bubble. I was I, in your bubble <laughs> until I saw that and I kind of did a little bit of uh, research on it and saw what was going on with both parties and it's just like it's just sad mm -hmm. so yeah I will be thankful if things can turn excuse me if things can turn around a little bit next year mm -hmm. in 2022 and people will be nicer to and other I know people. we can't do anything about the world as a whole but we could do it one-on-one -on -one. each of us right can make a difference each of us can right. do something to change this year to make it better right so, yeah, I agree. you know, we can only change ourselves. We can't change others, which is the hardest and most frustrating thing. If everyone would show a little mercy and grace, what a great world we would live in, mm -hmm. you know, if you think about it. Yeah. That's that's where everybody needs to get to, is showing everyone a little mercy and grace. Well, and I think that's with everything. That's racism, sexism. Um, I, I just think that's in a whole that we would just... Just everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um just why do we have to hate so much I don't know. that's i think the one thing that i feel like came out of covid is that just this hate bubbled up and i'm just sad i, I think i don't that, like to see our world like that and i think that came out of this covid thing because of fear because fear. it's like an unseen disease people don't know who have it mm -hmm. who doesn't have it you know, it's a it's a fear thing. Everyone's afraid of dying. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a handful of people that say, ah, I don't care. Yeah. But when it really comes down to it, they're gonna care. Well, and you know, when you said that, <clears throat> I was thinking about it. it's like someone who's drowning. Um, even though they're a kind, caring person, 
when they're drowning, they're just reaching for something to hold on to, and they will actually take down the person that's trying to save them. Right. Um, and so probably that same thing when you're in that fear. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why it's so good that we've been able to kind of walk away from the news a little bit and kind right. of ground ourselves biblically mm -hmm. and in his promises and in his truths and also, sure. um, you know, work on what we can work on. Mm -hmm. And so those are good goals for 2022 that we are sitting here next year and what we're going to do different to make it better. Right. Mm -hmm. I agree. Even though I am thankful this was a pretty amazing year as far as God blessing us, yeah. getting us through the hard times. Yeah. It was good doing in the projects, getting a lot of that stuff done. Um, I've got a few more things to do and I can do those in the spring of next year in 2022. So yeah, I'm looking forward to next year. Mm -hmm. Lord willing, I'm well, looking forward to next year. You know what I'm really looking forward to? What's that? Last year at this time, we had no idea we'd have a YouTube channel. That is true. And that I am true. so grateful. Thank you guys and happy Thanksgiving to all of you yeah. guys that follow us. If you're just stumbling on this uh, video, um, you know, I'm excited to see one year from now how we've improved. Right. Like how yeah. we, <laughs> how I could we, ever figure editing out, we've improved greatly. <laughs> so, It'll take, it's yeah. just taking time. Yeah. It's, it's all new. We've only been doing the YouTube channel since July. Yeah. So, I mean, like, people, what, four months, hopefully people aren't too critical of us. You know, it, it just takes time. I've mm -hmm. at least figured out how to do the end, the yeah. end of the videos and the subscribe on the videos. I mean, it's. It's a slow going process, especially months. when you don't have anybody <laughs> teaching you and you have to figure it out yourself. And there's really no, there's really no um, YouTube videos to take you step by step by step yeah. on editing. There, there just isn't. Yeah. Um, they, they say they, there is, and then they get on there and they click, ch -ch 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 -ch, <laughs> click, 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 click. And you're like, what did he just do? <laughs> so... It's going to take a little time. It's going to take a little time. Mm -hmm. But in four months, how we've grown, mm -hmm. our knowledge of marriage and the subjects, even though we've always kind of studied that. Been married? Well, we've been married, too. <laughs> we kind of know it personally. <laughs> and a long time. And the struggles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the struggle is real, people. That's right. It's very real. <laughs> it is every day. The struggle <laughs> is real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> We, That's funny. We try not to hide anything. I mean, if we're struggling, we struggle <clears throat> right with you. So. Yeah, we're very transparent. We've already told you guys that. So, <laughs> but yeah, we so just like I'm, everybody else does. I'm really excited though. In one year, we'll sit right here and, and go over it again, and we'll see where we've and gone. See. And you know what? Yeah. Um, I think we're gonna grow. I, I think, think so. we're gonna become better. I think we're going to have a stronger marriage. I think. I, I think agree. Cynthia might get a chance to visit us. <laughs> that would be awesome. That would be wonderful. I don't know. I don't foresee it in this Especially next year. Especially if all three of them can be here. Yes. If Andrew could be here, and Cynthia, Cynthia could be and here. Josh with was already Josh. here. Yeah. <clears throat> that, so, yeah. Wouldn't that be amazing? That would be cool. Okay. We can wish. Let's all wish. That's right. Here, let's cheers to it. Hope and pray that they're all here. The whole family. <laughs> Including your mom. Mm-hmm. It'll be awesome. So, well, I've got to go put a turkey in the oven. Okay. I got a ro ro uh, Macy's Thanksgiving parade to watch. <laughs> and I got to finish the bacon. Yep. So, so we took a pause on the bacon to yes. do the video. So we wish you a very happy Thanksgiving. Yep. And uh, may you be filled with rest, love, and peace. Peace. And um, whether you're just having a quiet Thanksgiving by yourself or whether you've got a big group, um, we hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Yes, and we uh, want to wish um, Jess and Jeremiah, Roots and Refuge, Happy Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. uh, Jill and Ryan, mm -hmm. I don't know what is their page on Whispering Jill and Willow. Whispering Willow and the 
Who all do you southern, want to see? Southern, northern, northern. The Southerners Northern Garden. Yes. <laughs> and I can't yep. remember. Ma is it Matthew? You're making me. You're making me come anyway, up with all these names. I can't do it. Well, we enjoy watching you all. So <laughs> yes, actually. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving to not only the people who watch us, but all the people we watch. We, we watch. Yeah. We watch exactly. all kinds of YouTube channels, and oh, yeah. we just love you guys all to pieces. Yeah, it's it's our. It's our TV time yes. to watch all of them. <laughs> anyway. Yes. And my sewing time. That's right. <laughs> Till next time, Jay and Krista. Yep. We'll Hope see you, you say later, I do forever. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. And he has to turn off the camera so it takes him a while. <laughs> <laughs>